Are your neon tetras hiding or are they looking sick? Well, you come to the right place. Today I'll be giving you three reasons why your neon tetras may be dying. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. White spot is one of the most common diseases out there and neon tetras are prone to it very easily. It is a parasite and it is caused by Ichiophthirius multifilis. Ichiophthirius multifilis is a holotrichous ciliate that has a worldwide distribution and affects all freshwater fishes, but neon tetras especially. A closely related organism, Cryptocarion irritans, affects marine fishes. To identify white spot, your neon tetra will have little tiny white spots on their body, but especially their fins. They are very visible as long as you look at it closely. To treat this disease, introduce it into a quarantine tank to avoid treating healthy fish. Adding salt to the tank, raising the temperature, and doing plenty of water changes are tricks hobbyists do to stop this disease. If you don't have a quarantine tank, then putting it in, it in a salt bath for 15 minutes three times a day will do the job. When adding salt to a tank, make sure it's either a specialized aquarium salt or Epsom salt with no additives. Just act fast as this disease is quite contagious. Neon tetra disease is a disease specified for neon tetras. If your neon tetra has this disease, then they will show the symptoms, loss of coloration, the body will appear lumpy, the spine may become curved and swims erratically. If your neon tetra is showing some of these symptoms, then, it's most like, then it most likely is infected, as it's quite a common disease. Sadly, just like dropsy, you can't cure this disease, but once you're certain it shows the symptoms, then it's best to take it out and kill it almost instantly by putting clove oil on it, as I heard. And make sure you take out your neon tetras straight away if they are dead. Or else, if another fish eats it, it could spread onto it. This nightmare is caused by Placephora hyphesa bryconis. So make sure to keep your water healthy and just right for your neon tetras. Neon tetras are honestly quite a weak fish. Their genetics are really unstable as they have been overbred. If your neon tetras are disappearing, then here's the most common and likely reason of why it is happening. Neon tetras are certainly not strong swimmers and are easily sucked up by filters. If you have an internal filter, powerhead, cancer filter or any strong filter, it will give your neon tetra a high risk of disappearing and getting sucked up by it. If you are keeping them in a 15 gallon or smaller, then you should only house them with a box or sponge filter, as there isn't much room in a 15 gallon, and the smaller the tank, the more likely the fish could get sucked up by the powerful filter. But if your tank is 20 gallons or bigger, an internal filter like this will be fine. Overall, neon tetras don't like an active surface, but a bit of flow will be fine. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have a fantastic week everyone and I'll see you all in that next video. Bye.